Hi everybody, I got one to play next. We're bringing everything that is awesome in gaming. Like this! This is awesome! Let's shoot some stuff! So, um, that was a little too enthusiastic, huh? So this is the Beyond Sunset demo. I love this sort of, um, I loved playing Quake, I loved playing Duke Nukem. Back in the day, they used to acknowledge the fact that you have these two sections of the screen where um, you do a fade into the distance and it doesn't quite work for you. Um, this is cool because it had a narrative element behind it, the skill intended for players new to shooters. It can't be changed later. We're just going to grind, so we're going to leave it on novice. We'll make this chick look good. Gen Emp employee work system. Dan Thompson. Invalid. Wait, what's going on? I just hacked your password? Who did that? Is that you? Is that my secret friend? Do you have a secret friend who comes in and does stuff like this for you? Who's your friend? Who's you? Wait, how come my name is Dan and I'm obviously... Look at these boobs. <laughs> like, what is this? What is going on? Is this my pixel puppet? We're in Xanadu? Nobody knows what's going on. Alright, so you can see the two, um, there's two, like, one is, like, right here. And there's two sections where the screen, if you mouse around, it's stationary. Because it didn't handle heading out into the distance well, which was fine. We were all down with that. We would use that to do all sorts of things, you know? We were down with the double jump. We understood it. This is just control to crouch. See how small I'm going to get? That's also socially acceptable to us. <laughs> oh. So basically mastering the controls and being able to blow up or katana people to die? That was our de-stress after work. That's really what we went in for. This pink pig, this is important. <laughs> Obviously, that's what happens when you do that, clearly. Alright. But the nice thing was the firing experience. Um, the thing with modern gaming, while they did... Um, oh, we're in a firing range. Let's see what's going on here. It'll just discharge. Okay, that's what we're doing. Oh, nice. Okay, that was an interesting thing right there. That's not when the icon appears. Punish your ammo. Hold on. When your power is full, get close to the target. Press F. Okay. Press F. Oh, like that. Okay, never mind. It's another feature. We are now going to go into the real experience, which is the crawl. Dungeon crawl. This is awesome. See this? This is, this is our love. This is our type of thing. Um, just as a dev note, that's kind of not socially acceptable, but whatever. We're in a training sequence, so if you do let me know in advance that the, I'm playing a pixel puppet, I'm not really going to call you too hard on that. But it's fun that it's a maze. It's fun that it is um, the regular, you know, human style maze that you see in the newspaper, etc. So we will just nab our way through this. People used to get motion sickness watching this, and it's interesting how we kind of evolved as people. Whoa! What is this? There's a little triangle to let me know that I'm going in the right direction, so thumbs up. Press E to wake up. I want to know. You want to know. Let's know. We'll know together. Link in the description below if you do want to play along. I didn't do it. Why are we in Satan's obituary? What the heck? How did corporate become more scary than, you know, the Dark Lord here? Well, let's find out. Oh, okay. So I was playing a, um, can I die from fall damage? Because if so, I will definitely do that, just so that you're aware. Like, this is a real thing. Um, I feel like I could have caught that hook, but I don't see why I would have done that. I do 
kind of want to find out if I can. This is all an exercise in futility. I do realize this, but we did spend countless, we're talking about countless hours, messing around with that. Oh, we're inside a cane, which was easily one of the scariest games I've ever played. I actually went and played Stasis, and then Stasis Bone Totem, um, just specifically because of how terrifying that game was. Really, it was bad. <laughs> like, children, shield, you know, avert your eyes. Like, that's scary. Okay, wait, hold on. So this turned me around, but then I'm in the same place. Or am I in the same place? I'm not. Oh my gosh, what is this? Can I interact? Gen cap issue trans tissue transplant ward. Do I need to be in here? I don't belong here. Okay, thank you for answering my questions, you probably, friend. Thank you. That's it. Where am I? Ooh, I have conversation options. Not authorized to speak to inventory. I'm a human experiment. How dare you people? So they do tend to like throw stuff like that's just so sci-fi it would normally get censured, you know? You need to activate health upgrades, yes. Yes, we are celebrating this. No, I don't have enough upgrade points. How dare you? Hold on, how about this one? Okay, so we can immediately start to buff up, and it's all very simplistic, so we're excited. What on earth? So I have to get back to my user, obviously. Clearly that's what's going on. That looked like a checkpoint to you. I mean, you want to stand on the table. Mr. Whitmore, what's going on here? I demand answers, or I will steal your katana and just slash my way through your office. Cool, open gate. That was an impulsive. Read, update your passwords. Due to recent security breaches, all employees must update your passwords. Thank you for the sword. I'm honored and grateful for the gift. I'm just probably just in my office. Appreciate your business and friendship. See you at the wedding, Mitch. Well, Mitch, I don't see that happening for you. Lower cooling, so we can see a lot of what's going on here. So basically, we're human meat sacks to these people, and they're using their employees for organ transplants, which is unfortunate, right? Which is unfortunate. That's not legal. <laughs> um, <laughs> fudge. That's unfortunate. We're gonna ignore that for a second, though, because we have hack and slashing to do. Stay on target. Oh, eat lead, uh, steal. <laughs> Fury. What is this? I want it. Let's get back into the transplant ward. Or I continue. I can continue in office world. Can I break a plant? Oh, yes, you can break the environment. That's the other thing we loved about retro gaming. Is that, you know, everything was destructible and you would occasionally find Easter eggs. So why would we not do this, you know? Mr. Whitmore. Mr. Whitmore can only help me so much. Unless I can shatter things in his office and that helps me. I mean, clearly there's therapeutic effects here. I'm thwarted by the pen holder. Write that down. This here, look at this. Man, it's pretty. Look at that, you know, sunset variety of sparks. Obviously, that's what we're looking for in life. Can't break the computer. I beta test. So I go around and I literally just find out what I can do this to. Oh, run into walls. My dad used to, he taught me to do this to see if he could glitch through. We were an interesting family. But we helped launch with us the software back in the day. So it was back when the devs really, like, they were using old engines. Like, stuff that nobody really had, you know. Like, nobody had tested it. Nobody had figured out, you know, how to handle um, the fact that you do close the distance inappropriately in a box, boxy environment. A uh, voxel is still trying to handle that. What else could possibly come in here that I haven't done? I will obviously attempt all of the things. See if there's any Easter eggs or anything cool. This just looks like a fun, you know, like a smashing good time. Exactly what it looks like. Exactly what it sounds like. You know, go back to the transplant ward. We'll just cave to reality that I probably 
on metals. Basically, if it's metal, you're done. I'm gonna kill all your plants. I'm to see where it gets you. Not authorized to speak to you, and I don't have an additional password or anything. Crazy like that, but I found armor, which is amazing. Like I said, link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. KOFI buy this to good coffee when no one make me smile. What else? What else is good? Ooh, we're saving. Okay, that's a bad sign. Oh, I can go back. Interesting. <laughs> <such amazing. gasps> or not. We have a really satisfying block here in that it ricochets the fragments of the bullet, or the whole bullet, back at them. Obviously, that is what that would do. We have a magical sword. I usually bring my whole Boken around along for the ride, but I have an actual sword this time. This is a whole different experience. Um, yeah, so that's all down there. Uh, you can support us on Patreon. We go out and find everything that's awesome. This is an indie dev, so he's exploring what was in gaming, which is usually there. But like, we want them to learn, you know, gaming, game engines, that sort of thing. And, you know, if there was something more that could be done with it, obviously we only have so much access to the back end of things. Oh, this is looking familiar. See, we saw this on the camera. We only have so much access to the back end of things, but we know it, you know? We know it like the back of our hand from gaming. Um, just because we tried to break it and succeeded a number of times. I'm remarkably good at breaking games. Which is, you know, my end of my world, friend, but that's important. So, um, interesting, you know, you don't have to switch to a gun because you can just shoot so many bullets that hack right back at them. Looks like he's missing one in time. You do have to time it. Once your enemies are vanquished, it does remove the. I die in every game. Never give up! Give up. So smash subscribe, totally free. Hit the bell if you love retro, if you love FPS, or if you're just looking into gaming and you're trying to find out what the perfect game is for you. A, we find that, and B, we like, you know, we bring it to you real so that you will always be looking at something new and developing that you'll be able to play and play with. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here. So smash subscribe, hit the bell. You can pop up a little thumbnail so if you want to spend 10, 15 minutes with us. We love you guys. We love that you're all over the ride. We will see you right there in the next video. Hit the bell, hit like.